What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, you might have noticed where there was an update to the game, uh, and what it was, was finally getting Void Horde to the regular Android and iOS servers. This is congratulations on activating the following Horde. So essentially, you can unlock as many chapters as you have unlocked in the normal Void campaign. If you haven't even cleared chapter one, you will most likely not see any of this here. So again, Every chapter that you clear, you will get this for. I don't know if six is out. We'll find out, but you'll see here, Void Horde has different game modes. Actually, I'm guessing it's unlocked because there's six of them here. Uh, and then, of course, each one of these is pretty sweet here. There's these really uh, interesting chests. Uh, this one's pretty cool too. And then of course you have Cloud Island. It's really interesting. The further you go up, the more resources you have at your disposal too, including of course, it looks like starting here, uh, you got some Scattered Spirit Vein and some Aurora Gems, which is cool. And it says Void Horde contains loads of resources which are waiting for idlers to excavate them. Rewards will be accumulated over time through the auto battle once the Horde is activated. The amount of resources each horde is fixed and the accumulation is based on the idler's excavation efficiency. The horde will be closed once all resources have been excavated. Each void campaign chapter map has a corresponding horde, which we just talked about. Uh, the more excavated, unexcavated hordes exist, the higher the initial excavation efficiency. So we're going to jump in here and take a look and see what this is about. Wow, there's a lot of things around the map here. We're gonna take a little screenshot real quick. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot to this. Of course, things will be accumulated. You have to log in once every 48 hours. Uh, you wanna occupy sites and then defend them, although you don't wanna attack ones that are defended within the first four hours because you get a huge, huge negative 50% attribute bonus. So uh, pretty interesting. Now, these look like they are pretty much just standard bog standard ones we have 10 here you can purchase an additional five which we are most definitely doing right now let's see what this actually looks like first off though let's make sure our team is actually in fighting form because we might still be set up for star expedition um no it looks it looks okay kind of i'd rather have, you have mirror yeah there we go uh so yeah i think our team seems pretty good Maybe not Demon Bell. Maybe Crown. Maybe Crown on you too. <laughs> I keep changing my mind on everything. Um, okay, yeah, that looks a lot better here. Let's just check our setups over here. Crit damage reduction. Damage reduction. Damage reduction. Yeah, everything looks good. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Let's see what this Void Horde is all about. Uh, wait, did they just mix up the orders? Seems like they did, right? Right? Feels like they did. Let's start down here. Let's see what our team can actually do. So let's set our squad up like this. Let's make sure we do that. And let's go down and just do the Phoenix. Let's see what this battle actually looks like. I can't imagine it's going to be very difficult for an account like ours. Honestly, I feel like we're just going to be able to smash all of them. Says, oh, I missed what it actually said. Uh, so now you can see somebody actually holds that spot. But you see excavation site protection period ends in three hours. Uh, yeah, it looks like once you beat one of them, everything becomes undone. Uh, and you can see here, you want to basically take over a place. Hmm. So we've gone to depth two, and now we basically need to beat someone. But it looks like because of how the timers are lined up and everybody's on right now, ooh, this might be a big negative for us. This one looks like it's done in four minutes. I'm going to wait till the timer's over so we don't have to actually like deal with that kind of setup. It looks like there is a refresh as well. Can I go to whatever depth I want? Oh, wait, you can? Holy cow. Oh my god, look at the power. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, wait, these are not like... Holy cow, look at the look at the power of some players in the game. I've never seen that much over oppressive power. Jeez, there's a lot of S tiers in depth 10, I'll say that much. Um, but I think we can beat some of these teams. I really think we do, although that's an S tier right there. 
Um, there's Jesus right there. <laughs> oh, everybody's taking the spots at the top. Uh, maybe we should pick something just a little bit lower and a little easier to take care of, maybe. Of course, you want to look for the ones that don't have the big rings around them. Uh, man, this, this might actually take quite a few attempts to find something we want to fight. Let's see if we can beat this one right here. Again, this is pretty much just straight up PvP at this point, so... It's it's down to PvP combat in a PvE game mode, which is weird, but it kind of <laughs> is what it is right now. Uh, we did get our CC off first, which was really big, considering they don't have one. I think we'll be in a pretty okay spot here. I don't see a queen, so we don't have to worry about reflect damage really at all. Uh, I think we might be able to just lock down most of this team. Oh, that's really bad, and that's why, yeah, you failed to occupy the excavation site. Yeah, I think going for like that speed build on her is not going to be very worthwhile in the long run. I think you got to build her tanky and just let her like survive as long as possible at this point. I think that's kind of the way you have to build her. We're going to do that and then we're going to switch over to a very tanky spec. And yeah, this is going to be really hard. So I think for me personally, I think what I might want to do is go down to like seven or something like that. Find someone who's a little bit weaker and easier to take care of. Because again, you're going up against all the whales out there. So it's like you have to pretty much, you have to figure out where in the whale tier list you are. You can see the efficiency right here is there. Uh, and then, yeah, you can see if you can maybe work your way up, find another team that you might be able to beat. Again, the first four hours, you have a huge advantage on defending it. Uh, so you can kind of like jump through and just see if you can defeat some of these enemies with some good luck here. If you can't, well, then you kind of just have to wait and see what you can do because you can buy extra attempts, but you don't have to do any number, certain number of attempts per day either. What does this do? Oh, it just refreshes. It just refreshes their order, I think. Depth 10, I think, is way out of my league. What about depth 8? Can we take out a depth 8 potentially? I think we can. I think we can potentially beat an 8 down here somewhere. But again, you have to make sure you're paying attention to the ones. Oh, wow. All B tiers, big B. That's 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 a big sad right there. If you don't have giant killers, you're probably not going to be able to hold anything. So, yeah, it's going to be a game of going around, trying to pick and find a battle that you might be able to win. And, uh, yeah, you can change your artifacts, your setups, everything like that. See if you can kind of find something that might work. And then if you can... Great. If you can't, <laughs> not so great. So it's going to be going around trying to find what you are possible, what you're basically able to do. A lot of players should probably just stick to something like depth one or something like that. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I really, really hate not using energy. I really don't. I think we're not going to go for speed on her. We'll still leave her tanky. And I do think depth nine, we have a chance to beat some of these teams. It's just you have to only fight the teams right now that are kind of weaker or at least that you think is weaker. And again, a lot of these teams are going to look a lot like the ace championship ones we talked about earlier in the week. Ooh, we took out theirs first, so I think that means we have a really good shot of winning. We got to win in the next round or two, though, because oof. We have lost our CC. Both of the CCers, the Bettys, are gone. Oh, we lost our Vulcan as well. We need Aspen to come in huge right here. Yikes, the Vulcan almost took us out. Not quite strong enough, it doesn't look like. I think the Vulcan is going to get to another active first, and that's going to be probably the end of it here. Yeah, because we're not going to drain energy, so we're going to get an L right here, but... I think we can beat some of these teams. I think we can. Yeah, right? Just like that. So we got to nine. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think taking over a 10 is going to be possible. There's a very minimal chance. We're just falling behind when it comes to all the resources lately with Destiny Transition. This isn't going to be great either because there is a queen. I wonder if I should be running control immunity on like everybody nowadays. Yeah, the counterattacks from the Queen Pings is basically just going to take her out round one. And then they're going to have dodge layers, shield layers. They're going to have so much survivability nowadays. It's crazy. Everything is just like go for the tankiest heroes. Make sure your team won't die. And that's kind of how you go about it. So we have efficiency 392. Uh, but yeah, this is, this, is pretty, this is pretty crazy here. So it looks like you have to get through the progress bar here. And then once you do, you can claim it out. 
auto battle details so you're adding some stuff void horde you're getting extra resources you're getting those chests and everything okay so every 20 minutes and we'll have to see how this goes so let me know what you guys think hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time